Right. Praise the Lord. Good to have you on uh, broadcast today. Appreciate uh, Brother Vito teaching today. That's the Word of God. That's heaven and earth's place. What we the Word is going to stand. Now I pray that you're ready to go. You got your name recorded in the Lamb Book of Life. I want to send this out to all of our shut ins, everywhere you might be. Let the Lord touch you. You know, if we put Him first, we won't have to worry anymore. Thank you. 
That's all we got in our land today. Hold on to God. Joy comes in the morning. Folks, we're living in the most critical times that we've ever been in. The coming of the Lord. All the stuff that's going on in our land. and uh, Everything is happening. If you read in the Bible, the sign of the end time. He said it'd be a great fall away day. That is here. It's up on America. You may not want to believe it out there today, but the coming of the Lord can happen at any moment. I, I say this to you. I believe for the great tribulation, the rapture of the church, and don't, don't say rapture, but I believe the church, you may be believing it different. That's all right. You better stay saved just in case the Lord come by your house. And I thought about going on through this week and all the uh, things that have been going on in our land and more people are dying than ever been. Sin is taking its toll in life. But one day, the Lord's going to say, go bring my children home. And if you're not prepared to go, you're going to stay here. Mama, Daddy out there, boys and girls, if you're lost, you may think you're having a good time down here. You may be doing it with Satan as your guide today, but hell will surely be your home. Look around your home today. Look at throughout the universe. Look at the televisions. Look, uh, look a lot on Facebook. It's not right today, but the coming of the Lord is at our door. And you know, I find in uh, Matthew's Gospel today, chapter 24, I, I spent a good bit of time over in the Holy Land. And folks, this is the place you will watch uh, Israel as God's people. And one day it's going to happen. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him to show him the building of the temple. This structure was one of the most beautiful in the world of that day. Listen to me. And Jesus said unto them, Do not see all these things. It is asked by Christ to respond to the remarks made by the disciples concerning the beauty of the temple. Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. You know, as I think about this today, the Bible said there'd be a falling away day. And you know, as we look in our land today, and I'm thinking about where, uh, as I started, and I think Samuel started about 15, 16 years old. I started in the work of the Lord at 13 years old. And you know, as I see the handwriting on the wall, the coming of the Lord, it uh, such a great fall away. And then that day it was, and he see, went uh, set up on the Mount of Olives, uh, the disciples came in privately, uh, saying to them, uh, tell us when these things shall be. Uh, what shall be the sign of your coming and the end of the world? And Jesus had said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. We are the most uh, deceiving day that we've ever seen. We are the false prophets in the world. They are all over the universe uh, preaching behind the pulpit. That's not preaching the true word of God. Uh, they're false prophets. And many of them are leading a lot of people uh, to a lake of fire, a city called hell. And my friend, if you are uh, listening out there today, make sure uh, that you know your preacher today. The Bible said, know them that labor amongst you. Not everybody is right in the Lord. You must be born again. You must have your name recorded in the Lamb Book of Life. The Bible said to put on the whole arm of God that you'll be able to stand in these last days. And the disciples want to know uh, when the Lord was going to come back. Well, my friend, I want to say to you today, look around you today in the United States of America. This is where we live at. This is where I'm raised at. Uh, time is running out for us. He said, nations are right against nations, kingdom against kingdom. There should be famine and passing earthquakes in diverse places. Few places in the world, if any, will be exempt from this great judgment. Now, I want you to think about this uh, today. You're out there, and you maybe just have tuned in this broadcast today, and you're lost. And you're on your way to a burning hell. Hell's going to be real, children. It's going to be surely real if you think you've never seen the lake of fire. When all hell is going to break loose upon planet Earth. And you know, the church is fixing to leave. The church is fixing to go home. And not everybody's going to be in the church. Uh, uh, no, he only had eight people in the church. And, 
And as you look around you today, in all in our nation of Anderson, you South Carolina, little churches are falling apart. A few little gym, you can put them all the little churches in one little building just about the day, what we have left. The Bible said without holiness, nobody's going to see the Lord. And they very few homeless people in the world today. You know, they want their dance team. We want our dance team in the church. We're going to take the pews out, the seats out, and do the dance team in the church. Rotten night of hell. I don't care where you go to church at today. It's not of God. You may not like this today, but God's word is true. For many false prophets shall arise and, uh, and shall deceive many. They will help. Now, let me say to you today, the Antichrist is going to come up on the scene during the tribulation period. I don't know what you believe. I don't care what you believe. The Bible is still right. And because of iniquity abound, love of many shall wax cold. And I want you to look in our universe right now how sin is over the whole universe. Well, we don't have to bow down to the flag. I, mean, I was in the United States Army. Amen. We fought for our nation. We was there to give our life. And these people don't want to bow. It's time. God's coming back. And he's going to be on the center of, of the fold. And he's, going to, and he's looking down upon you out there today. What do you believe? How do you stand? Are you in a relationship with God? But he who it shall endure until the end. Talk about the great tribulation period. I stood. I went to the Holy Cause in the Holy Land. And I saw where Hitler had killed many millions of Jews and, and planted them out there. And you look in our universe today. Israel is a place. Of, that's God's country. And we over there today trying to help them. One day we'll be pulled out, children. But God's going to come back down from heaven to the universe. And we're going to the Mount of Olives to be with the, the mighty man of God. Are you saved? Do you know you're saved? And I'm saying to every uh, Bible-believing church today, if we're all going to the same heaven, we must have a mess. It, well, some believes it, some believes that. You must believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ or you're not going at all. There's no two ways in the back door. You're coming down to the Golden Avenue. And I'm saying to you right now, uh, do you know him? Have you been saved? Do you know you're saved? Have you been sanctified real good and filled with the Holy Ghost? Oh, I don't believe in that speaking in tongues. You better be careful. Don't blaspheme the Holy Ghost, man. Mama and Daddy, don't blaspheme the Holy Ghost. There is no forgiveness in this life or the world to come. You better read your Bible. You better see what God said about this today. And I'm beginning to think about what's going on right here in America, where we stand. This is where I live. The great fall away. I know it don't say great, it said fall away. The church has failed. I watched the great church of God fall away. I watched the church of God of prophecy fall away. I watched many of them have fell away from the handwriting of God. They're on the Broadway. Nothing wrong no more. Do whatever you want to do. Do, do your thing. Uh, uh, be married many times you want to. Belong to the church. Uh, preach behind the pulpit. It's wrong in the sight of God. You preacher that's give in to this. On judgment day, your time's coming, Mama. Preacher, your time's coming. Let me tell you what Tico said. When you see the sword coming and you fail to warn the people, I'll require their blood at your hand. A lot of you preachers are going to hell because you compromise to tell that boy or girl they're wrong in what they're doing. Smoking wrong. Cigarettes are filthy. And you're on the wrong way. Adultery is wrong. Uh, listen to me out there today. It's all right in the church room today to get you three or four if you want to. But my friend, in the fall away day, the Bible said the false prophets are coming sheep clothing. And it were possible they see the very elect. They've got a lot of people on their number today. And I want to encourage you out there today. I'm not, uh, you know, we're not jumping on you, but listen, the word is what's going to hurt. He said, Every nurse should buy sway, but my word, not what I think about it, what thus said God's word. And I want to encourage you out there in the closing of the raw case today, make sure you know if you're saved or not. Make sure, you know, we started a long time ago. We started many years ago 
we made a lot of failures and we did ask the Lord many times, forgive us to bring us back in. We, we got on the Broadway a few times and we let the Lord down. I'm sure you have too. But why not put it first in your life and say, Lord, as far as me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord and we're going to make it in. Mama, I'm talking to you right now. Amen. Daddy, I'm talking to you out there. Some of you are loose in the goose. My, you don't know which way you're going. You don't care how you live. You're on your way to hell and don't even realize that's where you're headed. But I'm saying to you right now, you better shake yourself, look around you, and see where this world's going. We're in trouble, Mama. We're in trouble, Daddy, right here in South Carolina. We're in trouble. Sin's all over the universe. People are still dying with the virus. They're still walking the street and running the street, killing, tearing down, breaking up. But there's nothing wrong. Kill the policemen. Do away with them. We're wrong. God bless you. Let us pray. Father, we're so honored to have you on the broadcast with us today. Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day. Lord, we know you're coming back. It ain't going to be long. And I pray, Lord, we'll be in that number. Going up to be with you. I feel you, Lord. Feel the Holy Ghost in our midst. Lord, touch that mama out there. Lord, touch that boy and girl, that nanny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. What a day. God, that's going to be a glorious homecoming day. Woo! Praise His holy name. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What a day. We're going to sing it today. What a day. Yeah. When my Jesus 